Hello Mulis, in this session I am going to show you how to deploy the MuleSoft application in CloudUp 2.0 version. So previously in my sessions of MuleSoft for beginners in session 10, you might have seen I have deployed my application in CloudUp 1.0 version. But there is a new version which has come up. If you go to the runtime manager and if you click on deploy application, you must be seeing a new version now CloudUp 2.0. So about CloudUp 2.0 and this CloudUp is the one which we have deployed earlier which is which we can consider as cloud of 1.0 so uh, i will be telling more detail i will be detailing about cloud of 2.0 in coming videos but in this specific video i will just show you how to deploy the application in 2.0 version in a shared space so this is kind of a replacement for session 10 of deploying the application in cloud hub you can still have your applications deployed on cloud hub but not but if you want to deploy your application on cloud 2.0 so i'll be showing how easy it is to deploy so just like how we have done for cloud hub 1.0 version it is the same thing if you go to the anypoint studio i can show you my listener configuration i haven't done any changes uh, this is similar to what I have done for cloud up 1.0. So I am using the same HTTP dot port and the protocol is HTTP. Okay, and then I have deployed my application. Now I am going to manually upload the jar. To do that, first we have to have our application name. So I can say like cloud up to testing app, something like this which is my application name and now you have to choose your deployment target as CloudUp 2.0 if you are selecting only CloudUp which means it will go to the general CloudUp 1.0 version where you will be having worker size workers etc but when you go to CloudUp 2.0 you have multiple options for as this is a trial account you can see only shared space you can deploy your application only in shared space but when it comes to your enterprise account you will be finding two options shared space and private space again before getting started on how to deploy the application you it is always better for you to go through the official documentation of cloud up 2.0 i'll be detailing those things in coming videos as i said but this video is confined only for deploying the application so now i'm going to share deploy my application in the shared space and i will be choosing the nearest uh, uh, you know uh, location i am on us east region so now you can see this is a public deployment target all right now you have to choose your jar file which is the same method which we have followed earlier so <clears throat> if i go to my any point studio my workspace and uh, cs2 app test app and target and if you choose your application here now you might have you might you might be seeing a small difference from what we have from cloud of 1.0 version uh, runtime version is the same thing okay replica size is nothing but the vm bar of vcos that we wanted to use so it is the same thing but the name terminology has changed which is called as replica size okay i'll explain you about what is a replica and what are those technical terms but for now you can consider v course as replica size and the number of workers as the replica count so this replica count is nothing but the uh, <clears throat> number of workers that we are using this term for cloud of 1.0 deployment rest uh, you can this is the same option like use object store v2 if you are using object store v2 you can enable this one and deployment model you have two options one is to recreate and rolling update as you can see the name itself says like rolling update means it maintains availability by incrementing updating the replicas if at all if you want to or do it automatically you can choose this option and if you want to recreate it says like recreate terminates the replicas before redeployment so if you want to redeploy your application what it does is first it will terminate the current replica okay in that case we won't be having that zero downtime right so but the only thing is redeployment is quicker than um, this thing but i will go for now i will go with rolling update and uh, what is ingress and all i will be explaining you in the next sessions but quickly in ingress we have this called public endpoint so this endpoint can be achieved via public internet so anyone who has access to internet can access your public endpoint because we are deploying it in shared space and the public space you can see here so this is a public space so that will do that and in this options i will explain in the coming videos 
properties and logging are the same which we are having for cloud up 1.0 version now we are all set so it is very simple you are create you are clicking on the application name you are typing your application name and you are choosing your shared space with cloud up 2.0 version choosing your jar file or giving your replica size replica account which are nothing but v course and workers then choosing the deployment model as rolling update and you can just click on the deploy application so the thing which you need to observe here is <clears throat> i'll go to back to my application right so it is still loading you can see it shows a red mark here okay this doesn't mean that your application has failed in earlier cases in cloud of 1.0 whenever there is a red mark you must be knowing that the application is uh, not successfully deployed but here that is not the case it is just saying that it is not running yet but you can see parallelly it is applying so it will take some time to deploy your application meanwhile you can go here go to logs and you can see your logs over here and <clears throat> it is same like <clears throat> excuse me so you can see like uh, you will be having like the recent uh, deployments so as this is your first deployment it will say that this is your desired uh, deployment it says last deployed a few seconds ago or a few minute uh, a minute ago it doesn't mean that your application is deployed because if you go back here you should always check this kind of status okay applying if i go back to another application where i have deployed so if I go to the logs, you can see something like this. Okay, your logs looks like this and you can see there are two things. So this is my first deployment, which was last deployed 23 minutes ago. And this is the latest deployment. So here it will be something like last successful and the desired one. For example, if your second deployment is de uh, is the deployment is failing, then what it will show is the last successful is this one. And here it shows the desired desired means you, this is the one which you decide to deploy but it was not successful so the not success last successful will appear here okay so let's see if our application has deployed successfully it is still running it will take some time to deploy i'll go to the logs so guys you can see here that my application has been deployed successfully and it is in a green color status so if you go back to the application you can see now it has turned into desired plus last successful so this is how you have to deploy your application and if you go to settings right now and go to ingress tab now this public endpoint has been automatically generated once it was deployed so now what you can one thing you have to observe over here is uh, the the protocol is HTTPS though it is uh, HTTP if you see the configuration that we have done was HTTP internally it will route it to the public endpoint like with the HTTPS protocol if you click on this of course it says no endpoint because I have given some endpoint so test okay okay let me so here you can see now you can see the response hello mules of cloud 2.0 which i have given over in my transform message so this is how we can deploy our application in cloud of 2.0 very simple way but about uh, how to you know what are the cloud of 2.0 features and what are some technical terms i'll explain you in the coming videos hope you like this uh, video uh, we'll be doing more in coming days